what is going on YouTube welcome back to this week's video this week I want to talk about time management and a little tweak that I made to my schedule that has helped me exponentially in terms of time so I want to, we're gonna to get to that a little bit later in the video but first a real quick cleanup there we go Got a nice little cut good for the week got my mustache done so let's get on with the day well Zingas bro for your miracle or show Lance Thomas. Where is he? What's up? So one of the great things about this little time switch or this switch of my schedule that I kind of conducted was I, get, I have more time to do the things that I need to do, like food shopping, and I don't feel rushed, and I don't feel like I have to get to certain places by a certain time to get to the gym at night. So well, let's get into it a little bit further, but first, end the grocery shopping. Another thing that I really enjoy that I have a little more time to do the things that I want to do, such as you know, work on these videos, work on the businesses that I have, that I'm trying to start up at least, meet with Jake, all those little things during the week, and specifically today, I'm gonna see good old Marcos. Where's he at? Hello. Hello, Marcos. Buenos dias. I thought you were gonna bring food, food, not Damn, bro. this shit. You're strong. Yeah, I'm all right. Hello? Uh -huh. Look at that. That physique. Cocinando con Marcos. Literally. Ooh. Basic shit. So what's on the menu? You said you were gonna. F oh, just chicken with rice. Chicken with rice. That's the, the bodybuilding menu. Chicken with rice. People are gonna be really upset with this uh, cooking video with you. They're not gonna want a cocinando with Marcos anymore. It'll be alright. And see what Marcos can do in the kitchen. I know. Yo. Opie, I know Opie could cook. I don't Yo. know about Marcos. Freeze your grapes. It'll change your life. Why? Cause bro, it's like having ice cream. Let me try this. Okay, all right, not ice cream. Don't, don't like feed it icy, to me. icy, 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 icy. Not ice cream, icy. So do I just bite into it? It's like it's yeah, frozen. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> They're hard to chew, so it makes a good calorie snack. <laughs> don't do that. No, no. People, listen to me. Listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. Frozen grapes, bro. <laughs> Time for an honest review for Cocinando with Marcos. Let's see how his food came out. I already tried it. Rice is spot on. Chicken is... Could be better. Let's yeah. see, Marcos. Time to try the chicken. It's not bad. See, I told you, it's not bad, but it's not good either. But it's not like something to be like, oh my god, I need to have Marcos' chicken. Like, bro, if you're gonna have this series in my YouTube channel, I need you to step up the cooking, because this is not... <laughs> <laughs> hey, all I got is a bowl of white rice and some chicken. Like, this is not... You hid the chicken under the rice. Yeah, well, because it doesn't look that appealing. Whatever, bro. I got you. Thank you, Marcos. Much appreciated. All right, Marcos. No ammo. Later, bro. Peace out. Enjoy that little rice cake. Oh, yeah. See you next week. So one of the things I made a change recently is how I go to the gym, the time I go to the gym. And ever since I made this change, it's like all of a sudden I have all this newfound time. And we'll get into that a little bit further. Right now I'm actually going to a show with my family, my girlfriend and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to go see that, spend some time with the family. You know, sometimes it's nice to have those days where you can actually just relax and not have to be stressed out about everything that's going, around, going on around you. So I'll catch you guys a little bit later when we hit the gym with Jake and we'll go we'll do a little something different at the gym. See you guys in a few. What is going on guys? It's nighttime, Saturday night, and we just got to signature. About to hit leg oh no not hit legs. I'm about to hit back with Jake. He's already inside. Got myself a nice little rice cake before the workout. 
Alright, so we're gonna start today's workout. I don't even know what this contraption is called. But this is probably. What would you call it? The seven gates of hell, Jake? Yeah, just use seven because it's a good number. I don't even know how many little handles are in there. You know, there's only six, but whatever. But. This is one of the first workouts me and Danny ever did. And this is like the start of our friendship, bro. <laughs> I was like, yo, I'm gonna put you through some crazy shit. Yeah, that, crazy, that was a crazy ass pump too, man. That, that was like, that was like what, three years? Yeah, we're about to fucking get it now, though. First working set, we're hitting six, we're hitting six reps. Wide, middle, close. Really get the blood going through there. So let's get it. Second working set. Eight reps, right, Nick? Yeah, eight each one. Eight reps. I already feel the pump coming in after that first set. You already start feeling it. If you have these one at your gym, bang. Now you can see the pump come in. This is exactly where you see the pump come in. The positioning of my hands. You see that? Mm -hmm. See how I'm doing like the little shotgun? Holding a gun? really isolates the back a little bit more. I mentioned when you're grabbing onto the, onto the bar, you do this for any back workout. You see the hand positioning? You guys do that with your hands. Make it almost like if you're cocking a gun or holding a gun. It brings more of a pump into your back. It brings it, it focuses more on your back. So I definitely got, recommend you guys try this at home. Especially even if you're doing lat rolls, whatever the case may be. Any pulling motion, definitely try doing that type of grip and you'll see the difference when you, when you start doing back exercise. I promise you guys. Whew. What we're doing right now is a single arm lat pull down to really isolate the lats. As Jake just meaningfully told me, anything that's singular or lat one arm pull downs, it's gonna isolate those lats. Really get the meat going right there, you see that? Put that on right there, oof, oof. We call it slap. Slap meat right <laughs> there. <laughs> that is what, exactly what you want to hit. Danny, look straight. Yeah, perfect. So what we're doing right now is barbell rows. We're really focusing on the squeeze, really getting the blood into the muscle. Definitely recommend you guys try that instead of going for a heavy weight, go for just squeezing the hell out of your muscles. A lot different when you start getting that mind-muscle connection. I'm sure that's something you guys probably heard of. But when you start focusing on that mind-muscle connection, you really start feeling that squeeze. That's when you really start to grow and you really start to feel like the blood just getting in there. And that's when you really start getting those really crazy pumps. And it's, it's us, that's all what working out is about. Like, you know, the weights are great and everything, but without a solid form and without, you know, really going for the squeeze, you're not gonna see as many results. Give that a shot at home. Definitely recommend it. Let's get back into the workout. Yep. 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 Bend over more. There you go. Man. That's just why we do them shits. That's why we do this shit. Hammer strength, rows. But we're doing a little Jake special. Mm -hmm. Leaning forward, not sitting on the chair. 
against Hold it at the back, Danny. What is going on, guys? We just got to the gym. A little bit later than we'd like to be. It's like 5.45. We're going to bang out this workout. And I'm just going to walk you through today as to why this time switch, me going to the gym in the morning, it has been everything for me. This little, this little switch in my day, daily schedule is everything. It's literally like game changing. Like now I feel like I have more time. So let's bag out this workout real quick and I'll see you guys on my way to work. Just got done with the workout. Sun's coming up, but I am late for work. It's like 7.15. Usually we got out of here about like 7. This is like 6.55, 7 o'clock. But I'll see you guys on my way to work and we'll wrap up the rest of this vlog. What is going on YouTube? Welcome to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video thus far. Uh, as you, as I mentioned throughout the video, this is that little tweak that I was talking about. Uh, for the last, you know, maybe year or so, I've been going to the gym at night, usually around 9, 30, 10. And for a long time, I felt like my schedule just didn't allow me to work on anything else. A lot of times I've started working on the video maybe like around 6, 30 or 7. And I'll cut myself short around like 9, 30 or 10 just to go to the gym at night. And that'd be like the last thing I'll do every single day. And for a while it worked, it got me into a consistent rhythm going to the gym and stuff like that. But for a long time I just felt like I just didn't have enough time to focus on the things I wanted to work on, such as the videos, such as the business ideas that I have going on. And so for me it was very frustrating. So I knew after a certain point I had to put myself in a position to kind of get out of that comfort zone. That means kind of waking up early and that's what I really had to start forcing myself to do. So last week was the first week I really started forcing myself to wake up around like 5 o'clock, 5.15. And so far it's been nothing but positive results. I've been going to the gym early, as you saw earlier in the video. I, you know, now I go to the gym at 5.15, 5.30 in the morning. I'll go to, I'll get home by 6.45. I'm out the door by 7.45. I'm on, I'm at work by 8.45, 9 o'clock. And then I come home around like 5.15, 5.30. I get home at 6.30. And essentially, I have the rest of the night to just really focus on the things I want to focus on. As a person that works at 9 to 5, I was able to find little pockets of my time that I was able to exploit and put the gym into that slot. You know, whatever works for you, works for you. If you're a student, if you work a midday shift, if you work all day, audit your schedule. Look at what the time that you're, you know, the time that you're utilizing, how are you utilizing, utilizing it. See where you can fit the gym in. You know, that, that's what the gym is all about. It's not a, a mandatory thing but it's supposed to accompany your lifestyle. It's supposed to fit into your schedule. And so whatever works for you, works best for you. This is the, something that works for me personally. I'm not forcing you or telling you to go in the morning. It just works for me best because I know I have so many things going on on a daily basis. Audit your time schedule. Look at look at where you can fit those little time pockets and, and really see where you can start making little tweaks so that you can ultimately get the most out of your day. Uh, but with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll see you next week for next week's video. If you're new here, drop a like, subscribe. Peace.